In today's episode of Unwind Your Mind Back to God, written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh, we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. This is Chapter 5, Section 7. Trust would settle every problem now. In the simplicity of divine providence, everything is taken care of through inner listening and following guidance. Whatever is offered in Christ's service is received as well in Christ's service. The healed mind makes no demands and therefore is under no demands. The healed mind is at peace and content with what is and therefore has no need to confront anyone or anything. The peaceful state of mind is incapable of being challenged for there is no threat to peace and the present moment has nothing to be vulnerable about. Time drifts by the perspective of the forgiven world, and no stress or strain is possible in the present moment. Everything that is helpful in God's plan is freely given and freely received. In trusting the Holy Spirit, all perceived needs are easily met. No effort is required once the Holy Spirit's purpose is accepted without exception. The examples of divine providence which come to mind are Jesus, Buddha, Mother Teresa, Peace Pilgrim and St. Francis, to name a handful. They gave fully of the Spirit and allowed the Spirit to lead and direct the way and provide whatever was needed for their vocation on earth. They offered a state of mind freely they lived simply and had very few material needs and wants and reciprocity for those who trust is a thing of the past they did not charge fees for the words they spoke they had transcended the concept of reciprocity of giving to get For in giving, as God gives, there is nothing apart from the giving. The giving of love is extending. Extending love has no cost, no price, no rent, no wage, no cares and no concerns. What is provided comes freely without any strings attached. In this world, divine providence seems rare to impossible to the untrained mind, for reciprocity is learned and trust is unknown until it is developed. It is relatively easy for the ego to learn and accumulate skills, to learn how to do mundane, meaningless tasks and participate in the economic dance of reciprocity. What takes initial effort is the willingness to open to God dependence, to listen and follow the Holy Spirit and let go of the pride 
and self-sacrifice ideas such as earning in return for work and personally making a living. For the mask of personhood is in need of undoing before the light of Christ can shine through unrestricted. Christ has no job being eternal love. Christ pays no dues being whole and complete. To know thyself as Christ it is only necessary to forgive or release the illusion of a self, of a world, of an identity that God did not create. As one advances in mind training, one experiences that the purpose of forgiveness entails the means and the end of happiness. Saint Augustine said, Love and do what you will. Christ calls to the sleeping mind, Forgive and be as you are. Identity as Christ is a creation of God and can only be remembered. Forgiveness simply removes the obstacles to the awareness of love's presence. Trying to run the show is tiring only because the ego is the one trying. In purpose, everything is given effortlessly. The divine ease is always the indicator as to the divine advisor the mind is following in the moment. Relax. There is no need to keep trying so hard. Let go. It is easy to trust the Holy Spirit and difficult to try to make a living on your own. If you find the world to be a struggle or a series of unending challenges and confrontations and problems, resign now as your own teacher. Let the advisor who knows the way guide and direct. Say and mean, I will step back and let him lead the way and watch the dance with happiness and peace and joy. Divine love has met and will always meet every human need as long as the perception of lack persists. And in heaven, there is nothing lacking. Relax in trust and watch the illusory problems dissolve away in love. Darkness cannot even seem to exist in the presence of light. The world is upside down and backwards. In forgiveness, it is apparent that nothing of the world means anything. Pride is nothing. Personal achievement is nothing. Not one speck of the learning of the world offers the slightest bit of lasting happiness. Seen from the forgiven world perspective, it is apparent that there is no world apart from thought and conflict is forever gone from awareness. I join you, beloved one, in the great awakening to life everlasting.
the Christ can never die or change or grow. Being forever one. It is easier to be one than to attempt to struggle against oneness. The recognition comes with a sigh of happiness and deep peace. All glory to God for creating Christ as one with all creation.